but it feels really good because I'm like essentially spreading butter on my face, which is true to brand. Hi, S Weekly, it's Gail Simmons, and I'm gonna show you how I get my beauty sleep. I have to tell you, I was up at six, I was at work at seven, full hair and makeup, we were shooting at The Good Dish all day today until 5 p.m. and I went right from there to meet my daughter and out for dinner and then I just got home and I can't wait to take all my makeup off and get in bed. Um, I have to confess that I have never before done any kind of a beauty tutorial or step-by-step -step like this, so bear with me, but I hope that you find it interesting. The first thing I do when I take my makeup off before I go to bed at night is usually let my daughter take off my eyelashes. It's her favorite thing to do, sounds weird. Let me explain. I only wear any sort of eyelashes when I'm doing television so that you can actually like see my eyes. Um, and looks like I actually have eyelashes. I don't really wear any makeup almost at all in the rest of my life. But today was a full TV day, so not only do I have all this makeup on my face, but I have these eyelashes too. And I purposely didn't let her take them off tonight so I could show you how I take them off, which is kind of creepy and weird. And she threw a temper tantrum about it. So you are getting very important eyelashes that are depriving my daughter of this pleasure. Here we go. I mean, those go right in the trash. All right, my next step before I get ready for bed is I start with a makeup removing wipe. I use something really simple, hypoallergenic. I use these simple kind of skin cleansing wipes often or a brand like Neutrogena, something that is really gentle on my face because I actually have really sensitive skin and I break out in hives all the time. My skin tends to be dry. So I wanna use something that's really going to just take off the biggest chunks of makeup gently and not irritate my skin at all. Um, so this is how I start, just taking off like the major places where there's makeup, the dark eyeliner, the mascara. Over here, I mean, it's crazy that we paint this on our faces to be on television and often many other times. Um, so this is a very satisfying process. I find that it is almost impossible to get all the eye makeup off. So I end up scrubbing it a lot. All right, that's the majority of it. Can't forget the neck, because they always want to put makeup on your neck so that it matches the color of your face and your face ma makeup. Okay, and then my hair goes up so I can wash my face properly. Just like that. <sighs> okay. Wanna let the water run a bit and it get to, so it gets warm. I wash my face in the morning in the shower and then I like to splash really cold water on it, especially if I have to wake up early just to like wake me up. But at night I like to use really warm water to wash my face. And the product that I use when I've had a lot of makeup on my face for the whole day and I really wanna like moisturize it and not strip it, but make sure that I get all of that makeup off is Drunk Elephant. It's Slay and it is a makeup melting butter cleanser. You know, it's like this oil balm cleanser that I find really, really helps to keep my face moisturized because I do have dry skin. And it comes with this bamboo booster. It all sounds very complicated, but this acts like an exfoliant, so I put a little of it into the balm. All right, water's nice and warm. Sorry for the noise. And it also comes, the packaging is really genius. It comes with a little spoon that's magnetic so you don't lose the spoon. The spoon stays on top all the time. And then you use it to just take like a little bit out. And you actually start with dry skin. You don't wet your face first. Hold on. The 
gonna take a little of this bamboo booster and then just sprinkle a little bit of it, one shake, onto the bomb. And then I just mix it and plaster it all over my face. I remember the first time I learned about putting like oil on your face or some sort of buttery, greasy substance. I thought it was so disgusting. Why would you do that? But I do find that it really takes the makeup off. And those little tiny bamboo um, grains that are in here are exfoliating. So they also get off any dry skin and all that stuff. All right, so now it's all over my face and my face is still dry. I'm going to wet my fingers a little bit with the warm water. And with wet fingers, I then put my the water a little bit on my face and that activates it and you can see that now it gets all foamy. So it's like a two-step wash. But it feels really good because I'm like essentially spreading butter on my face, which is true to brand. Anyway, okay, that's done. I'm gonna wash and I'll be right back. Wash it all off. Feeling so much fresher than I was before. Um, oh, and I wanted to mention that that's what I do every night that I have a lot of makeup from the day because I did television or an appearance or an event or something like that. But then once a week at night before I go to bed, I use this intense exfoliator. I mean, the name says it all. I actually don't get blemishes necessarily, but it's a really great exfoliator. My husband found this product and I kind of stole it from him. Um, and it's a face and body scrub, so I do use it on my body sometimes too because it really is a really strong exfoliator. But I put a little bit on my face like once a week to really just make it soft again and take off any dead skin, especially in the winter because my skin gets so dry. And then I moisturize. The first thing I do is put a little eye cream on. At the moment, I'm using Ahava, which is a brand from the Dead Sea, actually. It's um, time to revitalize extreme firming eye cream, which we all could use, right? Just a little bit under my eye. And actually, I have a habit of doing this and then remembering that I wanna brush my teeth first. So I put the eye cream on and then I brush my teeth, which you don't really need to watch. And then I do the rest of the moisturizer. Um, this is my favorite moisturizing oil. It's Tata Harper Next Generation Beauty, 100% natural, non-toxic. Um, nourishing oil, multi-action night oil. And I put it on at night after I've done like a really deep cleaning cleanse, just a few drops from the dropper because I find that it is so beautiful and luxurious on my skin and it also um, smells so good. Like, it's just amazing. So I rub it in my hands and then I put it on my skin. And because I have such dry skin, the oil just like soaks right into it. Once a week as well, um, when I'm not using that product, I'll use a face mask of some kind, but really not that often. One I really like that I have here is Ultra Hydrating Mask from a company called Folane, which is a non-toxic beauty company that I love. I especially love their lip balm and I love their moisturizer, but I don't have either of them right now, so can't show them to you but they are really amazing. I'm gonna put this up in a more contained fashion. Before I go to bed, I will also put some hand cream on or body moisturizer because my hands get so dry at night. Um, this is a body cream that I love from Skin Fix. It's called Barrier Plus and it is like the richest, most beautiful. It's like, it's like a marshmallow on your body and I use it also for hand cream and like up my arms and stuff because it's really, really nice. 
Okay, then the last thing I do is I have to take my contact lenses out so I can sleep. I don't wear dailies that you change every day. I wear monthlies because I find them much easier for my eyes, so I do have to take them out and wash them every day. I actually have to wash my hands a little bit. Again, not all, just like my fingertips. I should show you my hand soap because I actually am obsessed with it. It's also by Folane. Everything soap, this soap is incredible, I should tell you. It's our sort of like house hand soap in this beautiful lemongrass scent that I'm obsessed with. But it is a soap that can be used for everything. Like they tell you, you can wash your pets, you can wash your dishes, you can use it as body soap. Uh, we don't quite do all those things and we don't have pets, but we use it in every bathroom and it's beautiful and you buy the glass jar and then you can just get the refills. and. It just smells amazing. Okay, so I have my hands washed and I'm gonna just take my contact lenses out in front of you. And I feel like there's a lot of people out there who get freaked out when they see you take out your contact lenses because it's your eyeballs. And that could be the case. So I might be freaking people out, I don't know. Just wash them a little bit, pop them in. You know, maybe I should get LASIK surgery. I don't know, but I don't really want to. There's something I like about just the ease of my contact lenses. They haven't bothered me for years and years. And now I can't see. So I'll put my glasses on. At least I can't see distances, so I can't see the camera. And my last step before I leave you and go to bed is lip mask. My lips get so dry. I probably don't drink enough water. It's really cold in New York City and really dry. Right now I use this amazing lip mask called Morph Lip Mask. It's really amazing feeling and beautiful on my lip. Make sure to put a thick coat on it when you go to sleep so that it guards my lips for the next day. And that's it. I'm ready to get in my PJs, crawl in bed, Hopefully watch maybe a half hour of some sort of television before I pass out and do it all again tomorrow. Thanks for watching me and how I get my beauty sleep. Take care. Thanks. Bye.